EV buyers out there, are you confused about electric vehicle incentives? I get it. There's a lot to know about federal, state, and municipal incentives. Let's start with the Federal Inflation Reduction Act. The Federal Clean Vehicle Tax Credit is available for cars purchased from 2023 through 2032. The total incentive for a new EV is $7,500. You can apply for it as a tax credit on your federal income tax, or you can transfer that credit to a participating dealer and apply the incentive amount to your purchase. There is also a credit of up to $4,000 for a used EV. Leased vehicles are also eligible for the credit, but dealers are not required to pass the credit on. One important thing to remember is that the clean vehicle tax credits must be initiated and approved at the time of sale. Sellers must be registered in the IRS Energy Credits online portal and are required to report your name and taxpayer identification number to the IRS for you to be eligible to claim the credit. Buyers should obtain a copy of the IRS's confirmation that a time of sale report was submitted successfully by the dealer. But wait, it's not that simple. Not every car or even every person qualifies for this clean vehicle credit. To qualify, your modified adjusted gross income must not exceed $300,000 for married couples filing jointly, $225,000 for those filing as head of household, and $150,000 for those filing as single earners. Now, about the cars themselves. For new cars, the MSRP must be $55,000 or less, and for SUVs and trucks, it must be $80,000 or less. Used vehicles must have a sale price of $25,000 or less, be purchased from a dealer, and must have a model year two years prior to the current calendar year. Other conditions apply as well. For a new vehicle to qualify for the clean vehicle credit, the final assembly must be in North America. And then the incentive is split into two halves. To receive the first half, $3,750, a minimum percentage of critical minerals must be extracted or processed in the U.S. or free trade partner countries or recycled in North America. To receive the second $3,750, a minimum percentage of the vehicle's battery components must be manufactured in North America. Batteries must also meet federal entity of concern regulations. Vehicles are disqualified from the credit if their batteries contain components manufactured in FEOC countries or are assembled there. In 2025, the regulations will also extend to mineral components extracted, processed, or recycled in these countries which currently include China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea. Ask the dealer specifically if the car that you are interested in qualifies for the full tax credit. Alternatively, you can check the fueleconomy.gov site for a list of qualified new and used vehicles. Final vehicle qualification is determined by the vehicle's VIN. Lastly, some manufacturers whose EVs do not yet qualify for federal incentives are offering equivalent discounts. Now on to the state incentives. Connecticut offers electric vehicle incentives through its cheaper program. These rebates are in addition to the federal credit. Anyone can qualify for the standard rebate available for qualifying new battery electric and plug-in hybrid vehicles with an MSRP not exceeding $50,000. Additional rebates are available for income-eligible residents and residents who live in environmental justice communities or distressed municipalities who purchase a new or used electric vehicle. Connecticut electric vehicle rebates range from $750 to $4,250. For more specifics, visit the Cheaper page on the Connecticut Department of Energy and Environmental Protection website. Customers of Norwich Public Utilities get an added bonus. Until June 30th, 2024, they can apply for rebates for new and used EV purchases. Have more questions? 
visit the EV Club of Connecticut website at evclubct.com for lots of great information. And also visit the incentives page on the PACE website at pacecleanenergy.org. That's P-A-C-E cleanenergy.org. <laughs>